Hey YouTube, this is Chan for Zan, and today I'll be talking to you guys about how you can play games on your iPod via Safari. And this is this involves absolutely no jailbreaking, Cydia, none of that. This is just all free, all safe, all clean. Anybody can do it. Really neat. What I just did was I opened up Notes because I'm going to use it for um, website references. But um, one website that I found that you can visit via Safari or probably any mobile web browser is a website called MagicAppStore.com. When you go to this website, it's going to open up a mobile website that allows you to play games all via Safari, all via HTML5. If you do not know what that is, I'll leave a link in the description to like a website that will tell you about it. But essentially all it is is like Adobe Flash Player, but it's not as, um, it doesn't mess up anything. And it's, um, it's safer, it's more of what Apple was really hitting on when they wanted that more than they did to the, um, the JavaScript integration. But overall this is just really cool, I like this a lot. Here's the website right here, magicappstore.com, and here's what you're going to have. Here's a bunch of games right down here. Like right there, you're going to have Sweeper 5, Tic-Tac-Toe. Some games you might recognize. There's a Brick Break styled game, Batty the Ball. At the very bottom right here, I found a fun game, Bio Lab Blaster. We're going to play that. I'll just show you guys exactly what this does. So, like, let's say I wanted to play this game. Just hit play. There is Facebook integration already, which is it's really neat for something that's relatively new. Um, HTML5, that is, but um, it's really cool. So, like, right here, it's going to open it up just like, a, just like a computer, so that's really cool. Right here, just hit the button to play, and we're all set. So, like, in this game, all that you really have to do is just go through, um, go through this world and sort of shoot down the zombies and gain the potions. I have my left and right buttons right there. So, here we go. And right here, there's, like, a zombie or a monster or whatever. There's some potions up there. And then, like, there are checkpoints in this game right there, so if I die, I can just go right back there, so that's really cool. The game typically will get harder, like all games would, but this is just really neat to be able to, like right there, I just died. But this is extremely neat to be able to play right there on your iPod. I like that a lot. Uh, when you're done playing the game, just simply hit the back button, and you're just out. So that's one website, magicappstore.com, and play one more game to show you guys. Um, let's go to Tic-Tac-Toe. If you like tic-tac-toe and you don't really want to download the app, you can play online, play against the computer. So that is very neat. Uh, and here we're going to go. It's going to load, and you will get the game. So computer, you, I haven't won anything yet. But I like right there, boom, mm, mm, and I won. So right there, that's really cool. But uh, overall, you can. it's really neat just to be able to play games on your Safari or whatever browser you may have. I just know this is standard on everybody's iPod, so that's why I'm using it. I'm going to go back out, and I'm going to show you that there is another website, html5games.com. That's a pretty, pretty basic name. But uh, right there is a really good website as well. On this website, you will have the uh, power to play more HTML5 games. So like right here, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Um, like across the top right up here, I'll get down there in a second, but like across the top, they'll have them categorized, arcade, cards, casual, Facebook. Over here, I found that there are mobile games. This website is pretty much, um, pertains to like more of a computer user, so I would recommend using this website on a computer. But you could probably use the mobile version of games, so you can play them right here. There are some games, though, that you can play on your iPod, so that is nice. Right down here, you can play multiplayer games. That is a really cool feature that I wish I could actually use. Nobody's ever online, so I'm never, I never actually, I was never actually able to use that. So maybe this video gets out there and people start to play. So that would be cool to do. But right here, here's a game, Galatians or Gal, yeah, Galatins or however you may want to pronounce that. Right there, go click to play. And right there's M dot Space Monster. It's going to open up in a new tab. So I can get through right there, Galatians. So I'm going to go right there, Galactans. Wow, I keep I'm pondering over that, Galactans. So here's the game right here, and you just simply just slide this character, just like Galaga, if you've ever played that, I would assume you have. But um, yeah, if you've played Galaga, then this is the game. You just sort of shoot down these monsters up there as they sort of come down at you, and um, shoot you with some sort of, uh, with some sort of crazy weapons or whatever. But here's the game. It's really fun. This website is just, um, again, it's html5games.com. Play, play it on your computer. Play it on your iPod. Uh, check this one out. I recommend that. I'm going to go back out to one more website that I found, and that is html5minigames.com. 
what HTML5 mini games is is a website just like all the others. This one I would almost recommend either using your iPad right up there on the top. It actually even says iPad. So if I would recommend it there. You might be able to try it on your iPod. I haven't done it there. I've uh, toyed around with it other way other ways. But um yeah, I'd recommend doing that one or else on the computer like I like I referenced. But like right down here here's some more uh, categories. So you have multiplayer games like a like the like the previous website, and then emulators. That was what I was really, really uh, shocked by. In here, I noticed that there was a Game Boy emulator, so you don't even need to have Flash Player on your iPod, iPad, computer, whatever you may have, to play Game Boy games. So like right here, I'm going to click on it, and you can play all this via HTML5 and for free, which just makes it that much better. So we're just going to go to play Game Boy. Now, unfortunately, my favorite series, Pokemon, isn't on here. So um, you'll be without that, but there are some more. There's Super Mario, so there's that game. Um, there's I know there's Tetris, Centipede. I'm going to scroll down, I'll show you guys. Alrighty, and then like right here, Tetris, Dr. Mario, Centipede, Kirby, Kirby's Dream Land. Uh, some more games you may notice on here, all via HTML5, all free, very fun. When you actually want to set it up, just click on the game, hit run, and then go from there. Or then you can edit the sides of it for your screen, so that's really nice. But uh, overall, that is what this it, what this functionality is. The reason I made this video was just to show you, show you that there are some more features that aren't really um, seen visually or very promoted. But um, HTML5 is a real thing that can be played on your iPod, so that is really cool. If you want to visit any of these game, uh, websites, I'll leave a link into the description, so that's really neat. But other than, other than that, I thank you guys for watching this video. I ask you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and have a great day.